In this pod, we're going to look at the fat pads that are found in the face. Fat pads are thought to be present to facilitate the gliding of muscles during movement, whilst also protecting the sensitive facial muscles from injury. It is vital that we understand the anatomy of facial fat pads when we're delivering dermal fillers. The facial fat pads can be divided into superficial and deep compartments. Let's start by looking at the superficial compartments. These are found between the skin and the superficial muscular aponeurotic system, SMAS. The SMAS is a fibrous network connecting the muscles and fascia with the dermis. It is made up of collagen, elastin fibres, fat cells and muscle fibres. The superficial fat compartments are found within this network. There are 10 different areas that we need to be aware of in this layer. The first is the central fat compartment. This is found in the midline of the forehead and laterally to this is the middle temporal fat compartment. This area of fat is bound inferiorly by the orbicularis retaining ligament. Moving further laterally, we see the lateral temporal cheek compartment, which connects the lateral forehead fat to the lateral cheek and cervical fat. The fat here lies immediately superficial to the parotid gland. Moving down towards the eyes, we see three separate compartments. These are the lateral orbital, the inferior orbital and the superior orbital compartments. The superior and inferior orbital fat compartments lie within the perimeter of the orbicularis retaining ligament. Moving down towards the nose, we see the nasolabial fat compartment. This area is oblong in shape and lies anterior to the medial cheek compartment and overlaps the jowl fat. Interestingly, it has been found in a study from 2012 that the volume of this compartment remains similar despite age or gender. Moving into the cheek area, we find three compartments. The first is the lateral temporal cheek, which is an extension of the compartment found in the forehead. Moving in, we then find the middle cheek fat compartment. It is found anterior and superficial to the parotid gland. Finally, the medial cheek fat is lateral to the nasolabial fold and found medial to the middle fat compartment. The infraorbital medial cheek and nasolabial fat compartments combine to form the malar fat pad. The malar fat pad is triangular in shape with the base parallel to the nasolabial fold. The malar fat pad is loosely attached to the deep plane, the superficial muscular aponeurotic system, but is firmly attached to the skin and is responsible for the prominence of the cheek. Jowl fat has an inferior and a superior compartment. The superior compartment is inferior to the nasolabial fat and adheres to the depressor anguli oris muscle. The inferior compartment is below this and fuses with the preplatysma fat. The deep compartments are found below the superficial muscular aponeurotic system, SMAS, and behind the muscles of the face. There are four areas that we need to be aware of. The deep compartments of fat are there to offer volume and shape to the face. The first is the retroorbicularis oculi fat or roof. This is found over the superolateral orbital rim. It contributes the fullness in youth and heaviness in ageing of the lateral brow and lid. The medial suborbicularis oculi fat, medial sooth, lies along the orbital rim inferiorly to the orbicularis retaining ligament and under the orbicularis oculi muscle. The lateral suborbicularis oculi fat, lateral sooth, is located at the lateral side of the orbital rim and lies above the prominence of the zygoma. The deep medial cheek fat lies on the periosteum of the maxilla, with the medial part being located under the nasolabial compartment. The lateral aspect is found under the superficial medial cheek fat. 
The buccal fat is found anterior to the ramus of the mandible and has multiple extensions, which include the buccal extension, the temporal extension and the pterygoid extension. The compartmentalised anatomy of the fat compartments of the face has implications in the ageing process. Volume loss appears to occur at different rates in different compartments, leading to irregularities in facial contour and loss of the seamless appearance. It is important for aesthetic practitioners to have a good knowledge of the anatomy of these fat pads and the changes that occur during the ageing process in order for them to achieve the best results with dermal fillers.